So guys, we are starting with a product backlog prioritization techniques. Now, we all know what is product backlog. There is a product backlog, which is there in front of you right now, right? I, I believe all of us know product backlog. And uh, one of the important uh, activity uh, in product backlog refining is to prioritize the product backlog. Right, guys? So there are various techniques which are available to prioritize the product backlog, uh, such as Moscow technique, Kano model, paired comparison method, 100 point or $100 method. And there is another technique called as weighted shortage of first. Right? Right, guys? So we'll, we'll go through all these techniques. Now, the first two techniques, Moscow and Kano. Uh, in these techniques, uh, we prioritize the, the product backlog items in terms of categories. Now, let's see how it happens. We, we, I'm starting with the Moscow technique first. Now, can you see the Moscow technique in front of you right now? Yes. Tell me, guys. See, can we... Can we categorize the product backlog items or work to be done in the project or requirements of the project in terms of must have requirements, should have requirement, could have requirements, and won't have requirements? Can we categorize the requirements like this, guys? Yes. Right? Yeah. Now, you can see must have, should have, could have, and won't have in front of you. Now, what are these requirements? What is must have? What is should have? What is could have? And what is won't have, guys? Now, see, must have requirements are those requirements which are like dissatisfiers. Now, what are dissatisfiers? Those requirements which are mandatory requirements, right? Which are more like threshold requirements. If you don't provide these requirements, the customer will get dissatisfied, right? For example, uh, if, if you buy a cell phone, right? If you, buy, if you buy a mobile phone and if even basic functions are not working, is it a kind of dissatisfied or not? You, yes. you, bought, a, you bought a new mobile phone, the basic functions are not working. You can't make a call or let's say you, you are not able to send SMSs, right? So you get dissatisfied. So those requirements, uh, which are absolutely necessary, right? Or threshold requirements or a kind of dissatisfiers, if you don't provide them, the customer will get dissatisfied, right? These are what? These are must-have requirements, right? You can use the words this satisfier for this must have requirement, right? Now, what are should have requirements, guys? Should have are like satisfiers, right? If you provide them these requirements more and more, the customer satisfaction will increase. For example, if I talk about a mobile phone, as you improve the specification of battery, as you improve the specification of camera, right? As you improve uh, the satisfaction, uh, you know, as you improve the specification of RAM or memory, right? Does the satisfaction goes up or not? Does it go up or not, guys? Yes. So such requirements yeah. are called as satisfiers, right? Now, the third cat category of requirements. The third category of requirements are could have requirements. Now, could have requirements are more like delighters, right? Now, what are delighters? If I say with this model of the mobile phone, right, I'll give you a, a battery with a backup of, let's say, 2000 hours. Is it a delighter or not? Yes. Right? More like, you know, those requirements that will create a wow factor, right? 
or you can say they are nice to have requirements. Now, the third category of requirements are won't have, right? Now, what are won't have requirements? See, guys, tell me, are projects constrained? Are projects constrained by, by budget and time or not? Yes. So, you know, it might be possible that within the given time constraint or budget, you might not be, be able to deliver all the requirements. Right. So won't have requirements are comparatively less priority requirement. Right. That you may not delete that, that you say that, you know, I, you know, uh, at present I am putting them on hold. Right. At present I am putting them on hold later on. If time permits, if budget permits, I'll deliver them. Right. So these are won't have requirements. So this is how you group requirements into various categories through this prioritization technique called Moscow method. You categorize the requirements as must have, should have, could have, and won't have. Is that okay? Is that okay, guys? Yes. Now, any question about these different categories of requirements? Must have, should have, could have, or won't have? No questions? Now, see. This method of prioritization originated from dynamic system development, right? Which is a very popular uh, agile methodology originated in around mid nineties. Uh, DSDM, the latest version of dynamic system development, DSDM is also called as DSDM at turn, right? Now, any question on must have, should have, could have, and won't have requirements. No questions? Now, my question to all of you. This must have, should have, could have, and won't, won't have. Tell me, does it change with time or does it remain same forever? Change. Change. For example, in 2005 or six, a good camera on the mobile phone, right? Was it a must have or does it fall into should have and could have category? Should have and could have category. Could have, right? Or any of these, right? But yeah. today, a good camera, it's where must, does it fall? It's must have. Must have, right? And you know, this must have, should have, could have. In fact, the whole prioritization technique is driven more by business and customers, right? Not mm -hmm. by the development team. Now, in order to understand the whole concept better, can we do a small case study? Guys, can we do a case study? Now, yeah. you know, I'll, I'll show you a simple scenario, very simple scenario. We'll do it uh, together. And, you know, uh, there's a company called as Nutri Worldwide INC. They want to launch a new website where orders for consumer durables can be placed online. Now, the product owner, Tom, is facing the challenge of prioritizing the following requirements, right? These are the requirements for the e-commerce website, right? Now, you have to categorize them into must have, should have, could have, and won't have, right? Uh, I'll give you three minutes. You have to do it yourself. Now, see... If you think from today's perspective, I think all of them are must have. So while prioritizing the requirements into must have, should have and could have and won't have categories, right? Please assume that as if we are uh, in the year 2006 or seven, right? Now I am giving you three minutes. Uh, you have to do it on your own and then we'll discuss.
so <coughs> pankaj this case study is for 2006 or 2005 correct assume that you are in as if you are in 2006 right okay. now if you have already categorized can i hmm. open the answer so that we can compare and we can have a debate on this we can have a dialogue rather or you want some more time you have one more minute please okay sure guys can i open the answers yeah we can now now here are the answers so so this is the this is the way we have group the requirements into must have should have and could have or tell me if you have any you can challenge this right if you think differently let me know so pankaj the first three in should have i mm -hmm. think they should be in must have because without customer registration and login how would somebody make the online yep. purchase uh, yeah uh, yeah and same goes for online payment also that should also be in must have if the target is to have yeah, online purchase application yeah so deepi you, you are absolutely right so first of all it should be customer driven right hmm. it should be customer driven but tell me what if you know a customer allows you to buy without logging in even today there are some website through which you can buy merchandise without even logging in Mm -hmm. right what they do is you know after you have some you know at the time of submitting the order they capture your address details mm -hmm. right they might be sending you an sms or they are, or they request you to capture the order right so mm -hmm. they see for example grofers was doing it many travel websites were doing it they were allowing you to buy without even registration as a guest Yeah, I think it asks to continue as a guest. Yeah, like, yeah. So yeah. now it all depends on the nature, right? The, what customer expects? Does customer expects a guest to buy, or customer wants, right? Or see, you know, all of their customers to register. Hmm. Right. right. It, all, it all depends on business actually. It's all depends on the business to decide. And what about the online payment? now online payment again if the business right they want to uh, have cash on delivery then it can be should have or could have but you know business might say that you know we want online payment we might we want customer registration also then they all will go to must have so it's yeah. all business driven right deepthi mm -hmm. I uh, I believe that we are talking about a two thousand five. So in the year two thousand five, there were no online transactions concept. So I think at that time, online payment is could have thing, but nowadays it must uh, should have thing. Even so no, see, that is, yeah. no, Ruchi. Even nowadays, it is it is dependent on the business or customer. Correct. See, Correct. many Correct. times you buy. 
you know you have a cash on delivery facility also yeah correct correct right so it is business driven anyway you know whatever your must have or whatever your should have or could have requirements are it is more business driven yes or no yes okay. now just... what about capture shipping details in must have this i think see, can see. be a part of should have or could have the only thing is you know if cash on delivery see if if there is a guest buy if you mm. if you allow buying without uh, registration right then you have to capture some details right address and all Hmm. Yes or no? Hmm. Okay. Similarly, you know, search option on website. It depends on the number of products you are selling, right? If the products are a lot, let's say if there are hundred products which are sold through a website, e-commerce website, then there should be a there must be a search option, right? So this option we can put in should have or could have. Yeah. Say that again. search option on the website can we put it on uh, should have see sunil the decision will be customer's decision how they want it see business should decide this not the delivery team right okay right see suppose sunil you are you have only let's say two or three products that you sell through your website only two or three products right is search option required no no but if you have 100 products is search option required yes so it depends right see i am showing you because i need to explain you what what is must have what is should have what is could have but ultimately it is all driven by the business right okay is that okay Yes. Is that okay, guys? Yes. yes. Now, just like you know, uh, Moscow, right? There is another technique also that can be used to categorize requirements, which is Cano model, right? Right. This model was developed by Professor Noriaki Cano, right? and primarily this model this cano model categorizes requirements in terms of basic needs performance needs and excitement needs right now basic needs or threshold are similar to must have requirements right they have to be there right their presence their presence may not satisfy because they are mandatory requirements however however their absence will dissatisfy the customer right so these are threshold requirements linear requirements are more like should have requirements as you provide them more and more the satisfaction level will go up right exciters and delighters are like could have requirements right they are like delighters for example as i discussed before right Thousand hours of battery backup with a mobile phone is more like a exciter or delighter, right? Now, indifferent is different from won't haves, right? Now, for won't haves, when we were discussing about Moscow, I said that you know the customer says, right? Or oh, right? At this point, based on my various constraints, I am putting this requirement on hold, right? I may deliver it later. that was won't have but here indifferent means you know this feature is not at all or least important to the customer so we won't be delivering right this this feature is least important to the customer so we won't be delivering it right that that is the meaning of indifferent is that okay so you know this model is overall uh, quite similar to moscow model right with the difference in the last category right yes or no yes so so any question Sankaj, or yeah. uh, can you please explain it again because okay. i am not able to understand can you please see, see there might be a feature in your product about which customer is least bothered 
is least interested or not at all interested. That is indifferent. So we won't be delivering it. Is okay. that okay, Ikta? Okay. Right? Remember in Moscow model also the last category was won't have? Yeah. But that is different from indifferent. In won't have, what did I say? I don't want it right now. As of now. I'll, I'm putting mm -hmm. it on hold. Later on, if required, I'll deliver. Yeah. Right? Or based on my budget and time constraint, I'll deliver. Right? Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Yeah. So, and uh, ek, um, are you okay with the other categories? Threshold, linear, exciters, and delighters? Yeah, these th these all are same like uh, Moscow model, right? Yeah. yeah. Now, okay. can we quickly do one more scenario on Cano model? Now, please try this. Right? We have to categorize the requirements into various categories, right? Like threshold, linear, right? Or in or indifferent. Right? Now, a big mobile handset company is planning to launch a new version of their mobile. Jefferson, the product owner, has come up with a list of features which need to be developed and included in the mobile, right? If Jefferson chooses to use Keno model for prioritizing the requirement, which of these requirements will fall under what category, right? Now I'm giving you three minutes, right? You can categorize them into various categories as per Keno model, right? These were the categories, threshold, linear, exciters, and delights are different, right? And these are, these are the requirements. So please try it yourself. Categorize the requirements into the categories we have discussed. The threshold, linear, exciters and delighters and indifferent. Right? I am giving you three minutes and we will discuss. This is considering today's scenario, Pankaj, right? I think, you know, you should consider 2006 scenario. Because, see, you know, if you see today's scenario, most of them will be must have only, right? Okay. Right. But again, you know, it is customer driven also. Can I open the answers? Yes. Yeah. Now, can we discuss? Yes, Pankaj. So do you think anything contradictory to what you think or you're all okay with the categorization done here? Are you okay with the categorization done or you, do you feel contradictory? Do you have any difference of opinion? Pankaj, maybe I don't understand this feature infrared uh, transfer. So mm -hmm. I have a confusion about this. 
Hey, you know, um, you can use your mobile as a remote also, right? Have you okay. used your mobile as a remote? Remote? Uh, with an with an application downloaded in it, right? All right. This infrared transfer can also make your mobile work as a uh, remote. Okay. Right. You can switch on, switch off projector using this. So tell me, guys, Murtaza, so, are you okay? Yeah. Regarding threshold, I'm completely okay because these are just matching uh, whatever I have uh, mentioned here. But about linear, exciter, and other uh, indifferent. So in my view, these instant file transfer and infrared transfer, we can put uh, in that indifferent because in the, if we take scenario of 2006, then customers should be least bothered about these features. Mm -hmm. Okay, these camera Bluetooth, yes, they can expect, but also we can put all these in exciter and delighters. These so, all so, the threshold. Yes. They may do, uh, okay, okay. So tell me, should they uh, fall under exciters or delighters or, you know, uh, customer will not even. Be even camera capacity is also under exciters and delighters. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. I mean. It, it varies uh, depending upon the configuration of the mobile in today's scenario. Yes, yes, yes. So, yes. Right. Anything from threshold you feel it should be moved to linear or exciters and delighters? No, these are okay. No, these, these are okay. Most, these yeah. are okay. So, so yeah. Mayank, are you okay with this, this categorization? Mayank, are you there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you okay with this, yeah. Sudhir? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Good, uh, but at the same time, it was on my mind like time. At that point of time, usually everyone would be a wristwatch, so time could be in uh, exciter and delighter as well. See, the only thing is, you know, see again, you know, call logs and time are related. Yeah. See, for example, there is no point uh, in seeing your missed call, received call, or dialed call without timestamp. Mm. Yeah. So, if so that was, that it's was important necessary. feature, then time should be there, right? Yeah, otherwise I'm okay. Good. Yeah. Perfect. Now see, so far, so far we have been talking about prioritizing the requirements in terms of various categories, right? But tell me, should we also rank these individual requirements or in the, the you know, in, in terms of rank one, rank two, rank three or so on and so forth? Should we rank the individual requirement also? Yeah, we can prioritize. Yeah, we can prioritize, right? Now, we have to rank individual requirements also so that we can prioritize our product backlog, right? Now, can we go through some of the prioritization, te prioritization technique through which we can rank our requirements? Guys, can we go through some of the prioritization technique to rank our requirements? Yeah. 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 So I'm starting with the first technique, which is called as paired comparison method. Can you see this method, paired comparison method? Now let's see how this paired comparison method works, right? Now I'll do two examples. So, Pankas, you're yeah. prior to you prior to move on this topic for the previous topic. Can we just uh, discuss like uh, the other two things which we discussed like it, it should be in, in different cat category. So can we put or uh, we have to go through only this category? Yeah, I mean, uh, are these okay? Are these no. okay what we said? You see, uh, you know, uh, if you want, you can put, but I don't see, you know, items to be put into indifferent category. Indifferent means, you know, least important for the customer, right? Now, it is more driven by the customer, right? For example, for a particular customer, you know, Bluetooth may not be a required feature at all for a particular business rather, right? So they might put Bluetooth in an indifferent category, right? So again, you know, I have shown here only three categories, right? But you can create four. That is okay, right? It is more your wisdom rather than a rule, right? Yes or no? Yep. Right? We, we said right in the beginning, we'll be following professional agile, not mechanical agile, right? 
Is that okay? Is that okay, guys? Yes, Pankaj, it is good. Right. Now, let's see. You know, let's let's go through some of the techniques which can be which can be used to rank the individual requirements. You know, we'll do now. See, one technique to rank the in the requirements in the product backlog is paired comparison method. Right. I uh, will do two ex two examples on paired comparison method. Now, first of all, let me uh, take a very very simple example. Uh, now, this is my product backlog, right? And just to simplify, can I can I assume this to be a product backlog, guys? Consisting of these items, can I assume this to be a product backlog? with items or requirements like write a book, take a course with family and long, and long walks, just as a sample illustration. Mm -hmm. Can we, can we take it as a, take it as a product backlog guys? Yes, we can. Well, now suppose we have to rank the requirements, right? In order of priority. Now, and how to do it using a paired comparison method? Let's see that. Now, the, you know, what you can do is you can write all these requirements in columns, first of all. Can I put together in columns also the same set of requirements with that I have put in rows? Right. Now, what I am going to do is I will compare every each of the requirement. Right. I will compare each of the requirement with every other requirement. Right. I'll compare each of the requirement with every other requirement, guys. For example, right, the business people will compare write a book with take a course. Now they will discuss what is more important, write a book or take a course. Suppose collaboratively they decide that Take a course is more important than writing a book because of any reason, right? You know, I'm only explaining you the technique through this method. Don't ask me a question that why write a book is more important than take a course, right? It is a business decision, right? That take a course is more important than write a book. So what I'm going to put, I have put B here. Is that okay? Is that fine, guys? Yes. Similarly, I'll compare write a book with family, right? Write a book with family. Everyone decided that, okay, with family is better. So I put C here. Now, I'll compare write a book with long box, right? The business team discussed, they thought that, you know, fitness is more important, right? If you're fit, anyway, you can do any of the activity that you want. So, Long walks is preferred option as compared to write a book. So we put D here for long walks because it is a high priority one. Mm. Now tell me, have we done all the comparisons for write a book now? Yeah. We have compared write a book with every other requirement. No further comparison is left, right? Yeah. Now, can I compare, take a course with all the other requirements? Now, take a course has been already compared with write a book, right? I'll not compare it, compare it with take a course. So take a course and with family, the business team decided with family. So I have put, we have put C here. Take a course and long box, fit, right? Take a course and long box, right? They decided B, right? Take a course, right? Somebody would have decided, you know, long box also, but right now they have decided take a course, right? Now, tell me, have we compared take a course with every other requirement or not? Yes, yes. We have compared, right? Now, mm -hmm. let's compare with family with all the other requirements. Now, we have already compared with family and write a book. We have yeah. already compared with family and take a course, right? Yeah. But we will not be comparing with family with family. So, with family is only left with long walks. So, which is the preferred? Right. So C in this comparison, everyone preferred with family C. Now, 
have we done all the con uh, comparisons for long walks also now? We have done all, right? No more comparisons left. Now tell me, in this comparisons, who is the winner? See, whosoever is the winner, you will see it maximum times here, right? Who is the winner here? A, B, C, D, what? C. 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 So C is the winner here, right? And what is the count? Three. Three. Can I say the rank of C is one? Yeah. Right? The rank is one, count is three. So C is the winner, right? Who is the second winner? B. B. Take a course. Take a course, right? B is the second winner. And who is the third winner? D. 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 Long box. And the last one is? Yes. Light up. Right, right? C. Sorry. A. D. Now, after this prioritization exercise, what will be the order of your product backlog? Who will be at the top? Top? C. 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 With family. Right? That will be at the top. Who will be at the lower next level? Take a course. Second is B. Third one is same with family, right? And the last no, one is no, what? No, no. Third one will be long box. Sorry, my mistake. Third one will be sorry. Uh, yeah, sorry. The third one will be long box, right? And what will be the fourth one? Write a book. Right, write a book. Right, this is how you prioritize the requirements using paired comparison method. Right, this is how you rank the requirements. Is that okay? Now, can we do one more example of ourselves? Right? Let's assume this yeah. to be a product. Let's assume this to be a product backlog. Right? Let's assume this to be a product backlog. Right? Please only look at this area which I have highlighted. Suppose this is our product backlog. Right? With these functionalities. Right? The customer sign up, social media sharing, customer profile and track orders, right? Now, you can note down these values somewhere, right? You can note down some, can we do this exercise using paired comparison method? Can we rank these requirements using paired comparison method? Can we do it, guys? Yeah. Now, tell me, you know, uh, I want you guys to do it on Excel. So, who will volunteer? You know, I am giving you a share permission. We'll do it together. Right? I am giving you share permission. Who will open the Excel sheet and do it? You know, I'll guide you completely. Anyone can do it. Here, right? I can do it. I can do it. Yeah, Sudhir, I have given you share permission. You can open the Excel sheet. Right? and share it with all of us and we'll do it together. So, I should, let me write first before I share. No, I have written, I, you know, we have, I have it in front of you. So, you know, we can guide you what all requirements are there. Yes, but no, if I, if I share my screen, I will stop seeing your screen. No, no, no. Yeah. Then you'll stop seeing it, right? So you can take a picture of this. Social media customer profile track order. So I started sharing. So, okay, you have oh. now just put A, B, C, D, you know, along this. Yeah, yeah. What were the headings? What were the headings, guys? Yeah, heading, it's, you know, just top heading should be product backlog. Yeah. yeah you can 
B, C, D. Yeah, right. Now, see, these are product backlog items, right? Customer sign up, social media sharing, or product. Yeah, you can just copy them uh, horizontally also. Absolutely. Just expand the cells. Okay. Now, guys, can we start our comparison exercise? Mm -hmm. Can we start comparison exercise, guys? Yep. So, obviously, uh, customer sign up and social media sharing, which is more important? I think you can't do anything with sign without sign up, right? Yeah. So, can I say A? Mm. Asavri A is okay? Yeah. Right? Perfect. Ekta, A is okay. Deepthi, Mayank, Sudhir is there, yeah, right? Yes, Sudhir, yes. A, A, right? Yeah. Now, let's compare customer sign up and customer profile. What, are, what is the thought process, right? Which is more important, sign up or profile? The next one. Sign up. Sign up. Sign up. Sign up is important, right? Profile can be done later on also, right? Now, sign up and track order also sign up. Mm. So, we have compared sign up with everything, right? We have compared sign up with everything. Now, can we compare social media sharing with everything? Right? Now, mm. we'll compare social media sharing with which, which one? So, social media sharing with... Customer profile now. Customer profile, right? Because we have done already. Yeah. Right? Now, customer, uh, yeah. Social media sharing and customer profile. Which is more important? Customer profile. Okay. So, without profile, you should not be sharing, right? Yeah. So, it should be, it should be B or it should be C? C. Yes. Yeah, C. It should be C. C, right? C, C. Let's proceed. Now, customer prof uh, then social media sharing and track orders. Obviously, track orders, right? Yeah. Yeah. Track orders is more important. So put delta D. Now, let's compare customer profile, right, with every other requirement. Right. Let's compare customer profile with every other requirement. Now, sorry, customer profile has been compared with every other requirement of customer profile and track order is left, right? Mm, yeah. Again, which one should be at the top? Customer profile. Customer profile or track orders? Track Think order. about track order. Track. If track we do order. not have to, even uh, even profile. Even, no, no, but we have a customer sign up. So with sign up, we can, you know, do order management, though it depends. See, you know, we all have account on Amazon. Hmm. Even without completing the profile, we can buy, right? Yeah. Track order. Okay. So it should be track order. So what should yeah. be that? D. Yeah. Now tell me who's what is who is the rank one? Which requirement is rank one here? Customer sign up. Right. Eight. Customer sign up three. Yeah. Right. Three count. So rank one. Just just write rank directly. Rank one. One. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. You go down. You go down. Go down and write. Okay, or you can put ranks here. Right? That's okay. That's uh, okay. You can put ranks yeah. here, right? Customer sign up, first rank, right? Then second Tra rank. Track order. Track order. Third rank. Customer profile. Customer profile, right? Right? And the fourth yeah. rank? Social media sharing. Right? So after this prioritization technique, will the order of product backlog change? Yes. Right? Yeah. So the top will be what? Top will remain same actually. Yeah. The top will remain same. Customer sign up. The second will be yeah, now change. track orders, right? Second First is track orders, same. right? And the third will remain same. Fourth will be social media. social media sharing, right? So this change will happen after the product backlog prioritization, right? Yeah. 
So this is how we do paired comparison method, right? Where we compare every requirement with every other requirement. Any question on paired comparison method, guys? No, good. All good. So, thank you. Thank you, Sudhir. So shall we go through the next technique, which is called as 100 point or 100 dollar method? Right? The next technique that we are going through would be 100 point or 100 dollar method, guys. Now, can you see the screen in front of you? Yeah. Now, the same set of requirements, right, can be ranked using 100 point or 100 dollar method also, right? Now, in this uh, you know, in this example, right, the requirements are given to you, customer sign up, social media sharing, customer profile and track orders, and the participants, right, or the business people who will prioritize the requirements are marketing representatives, IT manager and the business head. Now, let me show you how this technique works. Each of the participants, each of the participants will be given $100, right? Marketing representative will, go, will get his, hundred, his or her $100. IT manager again $100, right? And the business head will again, will also get his $100. Now, they have to allocate, they have to allocate their $100, right? Across these requirements, right? For example, the marketing representative allocated, right? Marketing representative allocated his 100 points like this, right? He allocated 30 to customer sign up, 20 to social media sharing, 25 to customer profile, and 25 to track orders. Is that okay? Similarly, IT manager allocated his $100 like this, 25 to customer sign up, 15 to social media sharing, 25 to customer profile, and 35 to track orders. The business had allocated his $100 like this, 35 to customer sign up, 25 to social media sharing, 20 to customer profile, and 20 to track orders. Right. Now, now tell me what is what are the number of points or dollar received by customer sign up in total? Is it 90 or not? Yeah. How many points did social media sharing receive? 60? 60. How many points customer profile received? 70. 70, right? And how many points track orders received? 80. 80, right? Now, yeah. so, so who is the rank one? Customer sign up. Customer sign up. Right, customer sign up is rank one, right? This yeah. customer sign up is rank one, right? Same. Who is the rank two? Track order. Track order is rank two. Now, who is rank three? Customer profile. Right, customer profile. And the last wow. one is social media sharing, right? So we got the yeah. same result, right? As per yeah, almost same. Yeah. Okay. The same, same as yeah. in the previous method. Right. Now this this method is called as hundred dollar or hundred point method, right? Now, any questions on the two methods we have discussed so far? So, Pankaj, what, sir, what, what is the method or what any standard or any parameter set, how they can assign these dollars? Is so there any not, priority? See, see, I did. You know, uh, these are all business people, right? These are all business people who understand the system, right? So, they are doing it based on their own idea about the business involved. 
right? Now, is this your question or your question is that uh, which method to use? Should we use paired comparison or or hundred point hundred dollar method? No, hundred dollars method. I mean, you know, if I am a customer, I am a business. So the first item is we do have customer sign up. I do have total hundred dollars. So hundred dollar I have to spend on these four items, correct? Yeah, so if customer that. sign up, customer sign up priority is uh, number one, then we can keep it. It uh, instead of thirty, we can put here forty dollar. So social no, media sharing is not required. Then no. we can put ten dollars. So see, or is there any standard set like yes, this no, worth of dollar we have to put there? No, no. see, hundred dollars are given to marketing representative. He has to, uh, and you know, before we start this exercise, right? We have to understand one fact: these people are specialists in this area. in terms of business they understand market very well right now there is no standard rule how much to allocate see that it might be possible that you know marketing representative may allocate 40 to sign up right 15 to social media sharing 10 to profile and so on so forth right but all these people are the people who know the business very very well is that okay Yeah. So according to his ability, uh, this ability or the market trend, he just going to set this dollar value for the requirement. Yes, correct. Yes. 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 Okay. Thank you. Right. Is that okay, guys? Now, hmm. are you okay with the the techniques we have discussed so far, the paired comparison method and the hundred point and hundred dollar method? Are you okay with these? now can we start with the third technique which is called as weighted shortest job first can we start with the third technique guys the third technique is called as weighted shortest job first right uh now this weighted shortest job first is equal to cost of delay right by job duration can you see this formula can you see cost of delay by job duration yeah right now see you can take cost of delay as value delay right and you can take job duration right job duration as size of the feature right or a requirement now tell me if you do, if you if you delay the implementation of a very important feature or a requirement does it delay the value or not yes right for example suppose you have to do a you have to invest some money right you know instead of investing today you invest few days or few months uh, later you might lose some value yes or no what do you say deepthi will you lose some value or not yes we'll lose value right so you mm -hmm. know cost of delay actually is value delayed per unit time see if you again you know the purpose the purpose of this technique is to to let you know in advance if you don't prioritize properly you have to pay the price of it so prioritize prioritization is very very important now cost of delay is like a value delayed per unit time right i'll explain you through some examples for example suppose you know in any backlog we have features if in any backlogs we have backlog we have features like a b c now can you see the cost of delay of of feature a and its duration cost of delay is 10 10 what does it mean that if you delay this feature by even a single day right what will be the value delayed 
10, right? Mm -hmm. See, the cost of delay for this feature A is 10 and the duration is 1. Now tell me if this feature is delayed by three days, what is the value delayed? See, cost of delay means value delayed per unit time. Value delayed per day is how much? 10. If you if instead of starting work on this feature A today, you start it three days later, what will be the cost of delay? 30, 30 units. 30, 30, right? Yes or no? Will it be 30 Deepti or not? Mm. See, okay, cost can of delay, you repeat once? Huh, yeah. Cost of delay means value delayed per unit time. So, you know, hmm. every day, every day you delay feature A, the value delayed will be how much? 10. 10. Hmm. Right? Suppose you implement it today, value delayed is zero. Hmm. If you implement it, right? So if you do it in an incorrect manner, there will be some delay in the value, right? Now I'll show you how it works. I told you that weighted shortage job first is cost of delay by job duration, right? Now, what is the value of feature A here? Right? Cost of delay is 10. Duration is one day. So what will be WSJF? Will it be 10, 10 by 1? 10, right? For feature, for feature B, hmm. the duration is 3 and cost of delay is 3. So what will be WSJF? 1. 1. one. For feature C, what is the duration? 1 by 10. Yep. Oh. 1 by 10 is WSJF. Sorry. Right, point. Now, in this, right, in this product backlog, right, in this backlog, which requirement should be addressed first? Which work, which, which feature should be addressed first? Which should we do first? Should we do A, then B, then C? Right? Because any feature with high value, low size will be better. Yes or no? Should we do A first? B mm -hmm. first and then C or not? We obviously, we'll do high value feature first, right? Right, Asavri, Dheeraj, Ekta? Yes. Right? Is that okay or not? And duration should also be less, right? Obviously, see, you don't tell me high value, low size, right? Yeah. It is equivalent to high value, low size and low cost, right? No. Yes or no? Yes. So, higher the value, lower the size, better it is, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tell me, if we do this in incorrect sequence, do we have to pay the price of it or not? Suppose, suppose, suppose instead of doing ABC, we do CBA. We do C first, then B first, then A first. Is there a cost of delay? What is the cost of delay? If we do C first, B first, and they, uh, there will be a cost of delay in every case though. See, tell me, if we do C first, B first, and then A first, if we do it in this sequence, what will be the cost of delay? So, if I am doing C first, Right? Then my A is delayed by 10, 10 and 3, 13 days. So 13. 130. Yes, yeah. 130 is the cost of delay of A. Right? Yeah. Right? C, anyway, I'm there is no delay for C because C, we have started first, right? Mm -hmm. And plus, what will be the cost of delay for, for B? B? B is delayed by how many days? 10, 10 days. 10 so 30. 10 because per day delay is 3, right? 30. So the cost of delay is how much? 160, right? 
Now, I have not specified any number of zeros after this. This can be million, billion or anything, right? Or, or in terms of thousands of K, right? Right, right. Suppose, mm -hmm. now, tell me, suppose I do this order. Let's take this order, another order, right? Let's say I do B first, B, then A, then C. Now, in this case, what is the cost of delay? If I do this order, what is the cost of delay? If I first do B, then no delay for B, huh, then yeah. A, A will be delayed by three days, means 30. Uh, A is delayed by three days, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, so we have started, so A, 30, 30 for A, right? Yeah. And how much for C? C has been delayed by how many days? Four days? Four days. Right? And yeah. what is the value of C? Only 0.4, I think, right? Yeah, one for uh, one day. Cost of delay is so, one for you. Cost yeah. of delay is one, so four. Yes. So is it 34? Correct. Right? This is 34, right? Now, suppose we do it in a correct sequence. Let's see what is the cost of delay. If we do it like A, A, B, C in the correct order, right? In this case, what is the cost of delay? Let's see. What is the cost of delay if we do it in a correct order, A, B, C? So for B, it is one day delay means three. B, yeah, B is it's only one day delay, three, right? And for Plus, C, four day delay, so four. For C, yeah, for C, it's four day delay, four. So it is equal to seven, right? Right? Now tell me in which sequence the, val the value delayed is minimum. A, B, C. A, B, C, right? A, B, C, the value delayed is minimum. So tell me, should we do in this order or not? A, B, C. This is the order to be picked, right? Now, if you look at the cost of delay for incorrect sequences, C, B, A, and B, A, C, do you think we have to pay the price of incorrect sequencing or wrong prioritization? If we don't focus on priorities, do we have to pay the price of it or not? What do you say? Yes, we'll have to pay. Right? See, see, right now we are talking in terms of single digit. But tell me if it is multiplied in terms of millions or, or a more... Um, or a bigger number, right? So the cost of delay can be huge because of incorrect sequencing. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. What do you say, Ekta? Ekta, did you understand this? Deepti, Sunil, Mayank? Mayank, are you following this? Murtaza? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, Pankaj, I have doubts in this. Yeah, sure, sure. So please ask because this is an important method, right? Yeah. 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 Please, uh, I mean, I want to understand this cost of delay again. Yeah. See, uh, if the cost of delay means value delay, right? Tell me. And the job duration is size, right? Okay. Right. For example. You know, if, if I don't implement this feature now, this much will be the value delay, right? For example, look at this feature in the backlog A. What is the cost of delay for it? 10. 10. And the duration is only 1. So, hmm. see, the, is the value delayed very high when if you don't deliver it now? Because every day, see, cost of delay is value delayed per unit time. In this case, let's say per day. So, as you delay it, the value delay okay. will be higher and higher. Okay. For example, if I delay it by five days, what is the value delayed? 50. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes or no? Yes. So, you know, so we have to understand that, you know, how important it is to prioritize your product backlog or any backlog, right? Or prioritize your work. Mm. 
For example, right? Now, see, this is a backlog with features A, B, C. Right, Ekta? Yeah. I can do the work in this sequence. C, B, A. I can do like B, A, C. I can do like A, B, C. Any of the sequences, right? Yeah. Yes or no? Yes. Now, if I do, let's say, C, B, A. Uh, first, I do C. Then I do B. Then I do A. Right? If I do C first, then I do B. Then I do A. In this case, what will be the cost of delay? Or value delay? Now, if I am doing C first, I have delayed the value coming from B and A. Yes or no? Now, yeah. what is the duration of C? Ekta, what is the duration of C here? Uh, just a minute. It's 10. 10. 10, right? Yeah. So that means, you know, I am starting B on 11th day. I have not started B till now. So tell me what is the va value delayed of by starting B on 11th day? What is the value of B? Value of B is 3. 3. So, and you know, I have not, I am starting it after 10 days. So, va will value delayed be 30? Yes. Now, similarly, on what day I am starting A? 14th day? Yeah. Right? So, this is 10, then 3, 13, 14th day. Now, for 13 day, 13 days, I have not started A. So, what is the value delayed? 130? Yes. 13 into 10, right? 130. Hmm. So, tell me what is, because 10 is the value, 13 is the uh, days, right? So, total delay, the total value delayed, the cost of delay for doing this sequence, CBA, if I work in this sequence, is how much? 160. Right? Yes. Now, okay. I can also do BAC, B, then A, then C. Now, if I do BA and C, the cost of delay will be 34 or not? Check yourself. If I do B, A, C, I have delayed A by how many days? Three days? Mm. So, three days means 30. And I have delayed C by how many days? Four days? Mm. So, cost, the value, COD for C is 1, so 4, 34, right? Yeah. So, value delayed in the sequence B, A, C is this. Now, Let's see the sequence A, B, C. Right? If we do, if we follow sequence A, B, C, what is the value delayed? A, I have started on time. The value delayed because of B will be how much? Three only, one day delay. And value delayed because of C will be only four, seven. So tell me which sequence is the best here? Obviously, A, then B, then C, right? C, yeah. A, B, C, yeah. Is it okay now? Yeah, yeah. Got it. Right. So, Asavri, Deepti, are yeah. you okay with this? Yes. One question, so is, Yeah, sure, sure. Sure, please. Yeah. please. Yeah. So, yeah. who is responsible to create or define this uh, value? Is this yeah. business or project manager? So, see, again, you know, job duration will, estimation will come from the development team. But hmm. cost of delay is always a business thing, right? Okay. Right? Now, see, we have gone through three different methods of prioritization. Right? We have gone through three different methods of prioritization. Now, which one to use? Who will decide ultimately? Whose decision we should respect? Business. Business. Product owner. Right? Which method to use? See, we have done paired comparison. We have done 100 point or $100 method, right? And we have done weighted shortage of first, right? These are different methods to prioritize the product backlog. Which one should use? we use, right? Who should decide it ultimately? The product this... owner. The product owner. Which, because the product owner is a person who has ultimate authority on the product backlog, right? He's the person who decides how to prioritize the product backlog, right? So, which method to use, he has full discretion on, right? 
Is that okay? Is that okay, guys? Yeah. Yep. Good, right? Any any question on whatever we have done so far? Uh, yes, Pankaj. I have question because I still not able to figure out in first example CBA how we are able to calculate this one thirty. I love. Um, I am trying to relate this table. Okay. Uh, to still, yeah. Ankaj, no, uh, if, yeah. if you agree, I want to make a comment. Uh, so value delayed, if we present it like opportunity uh, lost, yeah. I think it will become very easy to understand. Consider uh, yeah, there is a milk, actually, milk delivery uh, company who is yeah. delivering milk every day. So yeah. whatever is the production of day one, if we do not deliver it on the same day, then it is lost, right? It, we don't at that requirement which is coming out of market. If it will not come again, next day will be fresh requirement of that much only. So we we are losing opportunity every day. Do you uh, think this yeah, this makes sense? Yeah, this is absolutely correct, right? Right? Yeah, yeah. This is opportunity only. Right. Uh, you know, I'll give a very layman example. Right, um, Ruchi, I'll give a very, uh, you know, a very layman example, slightly away okay. from this concepts, right? Okay. Uh, do you understand, you know, we have a systematic investment plan, SIP. Uh, have, you, yes. have, you invested, have you invested money in mutual funds, right? No, no, no. Okay. In mutual funds, we have SIP, right? Systematic investment yes. plan, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I have it. No, I, I, I'm, I'm just giving a very simple example, right? Okay. Suppose there are two friends, yes. right? Mm. Friend A and friend B. Yes. Friend A invested, right? He decides that, you know, uh, for his old age, he should start saving some money. Okay. Right? And he said he will be putting 10,000 rupees per month. In a mutual fund. Okay. Right? Or in a, any mm. index fund, right? Or mm. any nifty fifty, any any good mutual fund. And okay. he, mm. he did it constantly for 10 years. Okay. Right? And mm. then he stopped. Right? For mm. 10 years, every month he is putting his money on a mutual fund. Mm. Right? He put it for 10 years, right? And then stopped. Okay. And the friend B. And the friend B, right? Mm. He wanted to, he said, you know, I want to enjoy now. Right? He want, He said, I want to enjoy now. Right? Mm. He did yeah. not save anything for the next 10 years. Mm -hmm. Right? Then after 10 years, right? He, all of a sudden he woke up and he said, you know, now I'll start you know, some savings for my old age, right? Correct. Yeah. And after 10 years, he said, you know, instead of saving 10,000, I say, I will be putting monthly systematic investment of 20,000. Okay. And he did that investment of 20,000, right? For 20 years. Right? Okay. Mm hmm. Do you know, you know, after 30 years at the time of maturity, who will get more money? Friend A or friend B? Friend A. Hmm? Friend A, right? Yeah, yes. Right, because there's a concept of compounding of money. Correct. Right? Now, it is very similar to this. See, if you don't tap a right opportunity, as Sudhir said, at right time, mm. Mm -hmm. Right? You have to pay the price of it. Correct. Right? You have to pay the price of, you know, missed opportunity. That is value delayed. Correct. Are, are you getting my point or not? Yes. Conceptually, I am able to get it. Uh, it just so has same, some calculation. So same, thing, yeah. now, same thing I'm doing here. Right? Now, mm. if, if you do, if you don't prioritize well, Right? If yeah. you don't address highest priority first, you have to pay for the cost of delay. Right? Correct. And see, 
you have to choose that sequence which has the lowest cost of living. Yes, we right. have to. Yes. Right. Now, now, if you look from that perspective, suppose I do C first, then B first, then A first, right? Correct. So C, I have already started, right? So, so, so there is no cost of delay for C, right? C, what? if we start and there is no cost for it. Okay. No, so C, C, I have already started. So what? There is no delay. Suppose I have started C today. Okay. Right? Now, yes. if I started C first, then, then I start B. Yes. Right? Now, tell me, what is the duration of C? Look C duration it. is 10 days. 10 days. Does it mean that I have delayed B by 10 days? Yes. What is the value delayed per day for B? Uh, okay. Three. Yes, three. Yes, yes. So for 10 okay. days delay, what is the value of B? 30. 30, correct. 10 into 3. Now, similarly, yes. after how many days I'm starting A? A, uh, we are starting on 14th day. Huh. So, uh, have I delayed A by 13 days? Yes. What is the per day delay for A? Uh, 10 days. Ten. Okay, sir. 10. Okay, 10. Okay. 130. So, so, 160 is the cost of delay if I do C first, then B first, then A first, right? Similarly, okay. if I do B, A, and C, the cost of delay is 34. But if I do A, the highest value first, A, then B, then C, then cost of delay is only 7. Correct. So should I perform the the work in this sequence or not? ABC for me. Yes, ABC. Yes, because it is showing right. less value. This is how we do, right? Delay. And you know the okay. same the same concept of cost of delay is depicted here through the graph also, right? Okay. If you want to see more, see how this is happening visually, right? You mm -hmm. can see here, right? This is a sequence. In this sequence, mm -hmm. I have done CBA first, right? Yes. If you if I do CBA. A. This is the cost of delay, right? Hmm. If I do ABC, this is the cost of delay, right? Right. You can see that the cost of delay is one thirty plus one thirty one sixty here, and the cost of delay is only seven here, right? So that's why yeah. I prefer the first way. Hmm. Okay. Is that Short okay? Yes. Right. Now, guys, can we take a short break? Can we take a 10 minutes break, guys? Yes, yes, Uncle. Yes, yes, yes. Now, yes. see, after the break, you know, because see, tomorrow's topic is estimation. I don't want to switch to a new topic today, right? Now, instead of uh, switching to a new topic, can we practice some exam questions? Yeah. Yes. That right? would be good. So, yeah. post break, we'll be practicing some exam questions, guys, right? Is that okay? Yes. Yes. Perfect, guys. So, let's take a 10 minutes break. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.